Hello, ladies and gentlemen and fellow Rotarians. My name is Andrew Jones. Thank you for the opportunity to spend a few minutes telling you about Noreen and Ryan's home and our contribution to international service in Guinea, West Africa. As you know, Rotary International has led the way to eradicate polio in the world. So much has been committed and we're just about there. Our club's proud to contribute to Polio Plus and help in the fight to eradicate polio through immunization. New cases of polio mean there's now 12 formerly polio-free countries, including Guinea, that have been reinfected with the virus since 2003. In these areas, the victims of polio face a cruel and an uncertain future. We want to help children cope with the ravages of this debilitating disease. Polio children in Guinea live in a society that can't do much to improve their life conditions. Noreen and Ryan's home, as it will be called, will house children and provide them with medical care and basic education to assist them to cope with their condition and become more able to sustain themselves. When we have more time, we can tell you the important story behind the naming of Noreen and Ryan's home. Group Lyceum, with offices in Canada and in Guinea, is the major developer of this project. Also, major partners include the, uh, the Rotary Club of Conakry in Guinea, the Anglican Diocese of Guinea, the Ryan's Wish Foundation of Moncton, Port Wallace United Church of Dartmouth, and Red Hot Learning in Fredericton. Dr. Ken Kirstead of Group Lyceum has a long history on Graham and Ann. He's a member of the Graham and Ann Rotary Club and he has a summer residence here on the island. His father was a minister years back and his grandfather was the headmaster at the North Head School. During his father's time as a missionary, Ken spent many years of his childhood in Africa. Ken has also worked with our club in the past, pairing our island with the Lost Islands of Guinea and our club funded school kids to go to school on that island. Ken's associate at Group Lyceum in Guinea Fatuma Dabo is a member of the Conakry Rotary Club. When we heard about the polio project, our club felt the need to assist the Conakry Club and Group Lyceum by supporting the project and the polio children. Edie Mullen is a Rotarian here on Graham and Ann. She's undertaking her second trip to Guinea to report on projects that we support in that region. This visit will be for almost a year and she'll be playing a key role in seeing the Noreen and Ryan Home project become accessible to polio victims in the region. She left for Guinea on May 9th, flying from St. John and traveling via Montreal to Paris and finally landing in Conakry. She'll be the first Western resident of the Noreen and Ryan Home. The Anglican Church Diocese had an abandoned facility at Dominia near Bofa, Guinea. A run-down building and 15 acres of land were ceded to the Lycian Group, NGO, with the idea of providing a facility to assist polio victims. Renovations are now underway of the existing building so it can house staff and act as a clinic. A new building will be constructed in the next phase to house polio children. Adama is a registered pharmacist who will manage the clinic and distribute the vitamins to the villagers. She herself is a polio victim, but she's courageous to a remarkable degree and will be one of the very first residents of Noreen and Ryan's home. The people of the surrounding communities have showed overwhelming support for the project. They've put in countless hours working and unloading the bricks that have had to travel over three hours from Conakry. There are no building supplies near the polio home other than the hand-dug gravel and sand. Noreen and Ryan's home will be self-sustaining by growing their own food. Currently the biggest needs for a well so that the local volunteers don't have to go so far for potable water. Although, well, although the well, latrine pits and generator are part of our plans for a rotary matching grant application, the delay in grants until a new fiscal year has left the overall project in a desperate situation. They just can't put off those important items. Our club has provided what funds we could to help them proceed. Bishop Gomez and members of the Anglican Diocese have visited the project often and they're delighted with the inclusive way things have gone. The project is utilizing the existing derelict buildings which have been until recently occupied by snakes and other creatures. 
Rotary and Edie will occupy one of the rooms on the top floor. The builders are absolutely delighted that she'll be treated to a tile floor when she arrives. The project's an opportunity for the whole community to celebrate. They are committed to Noreen and Ryan's home, and they will also reap the benefits of a clinic and a community facility. Mr. Tom Tierney and his California-based company Vitatech are donating and shipping vitamins and mineral supplements to Group Lyceum in Guinea. Through the UCI Africa Initiative, supplies of vitamins and minerals will be provided to the polio home to supply 6,500 people over three years. It's anticipated that medical issues will decrease 20 percent with increased vitamin A alone, not to mention the other vitamins and minerals in the Vitatech formula. The free wheelchair mission is providing 550 wheelchairs to be distributed through the polio house facility. It's an international non-profit organization dedicated to providing wheelchairs for the impoverished, disabled, and developing nations. This not only provides the gift of mobility, but also of dignity, independence, and hope. I hope that you're now more aware of the plight of polio victims in Guinea and the action that we are part of to provide for these people. We would appreciate your support in our efforts to improve conditions for polio children. If you'd like to make a contribution or if you'd like to find out for further information, please contact us at the Rotary Club of Grand Manan. Thank you.